It's a meet event and a 115 women's bout with probably title implications, perhaps on the line in this one. Mackenzie Dern, 12 and 2, is basically a 2 to 1 favorite in this one against Yan Zhao Nan, who 15, 3 and 1. Is a woman who is extremely, extremely durable, but it's been pretty tough of recent, right? I mean, she has on paper lost two straight. The first was to Carla Esparza in a fight where she got finished in the second round and she got absolutely demolished, just taken down, held down, and ultimately just mauled by the cookie monster in that one. And it was kind of eye opening because Jeanan was basically destroying everyone, and then Carla Esparza just. I guess we had to remind everyone of uh, the wrestling prowess that she possesses because she just smoked Yan Zhao Nan in that one. And after that, she had to rebound against Marina Rodriguez and she ended up losing a split decision in that one. But a lot of people thought Yan Zhao Nan did enough to win that fight. I think you were in that company and uh, I was someone who, although I had, you know, maybe a little bit of a doink on Marina, uh, I do think that Yan probably did win that fight as well. But Nonetheless, it's two straight L's, and she taken on Dern in this one, who just won most recently. She beat Tisha Torres. It was a split decision, though, so it was interesting to see Dern in an actually close competitive contest, because throughout her wins that she's picked up thus far, most of them have been one-way traffic. I mean, Nina Nunez was an easy work first-round armbar. She smoked Verna Jindahoba and beat Randa Marcos and Hannah Shockwave Cyphers, who uh, loses a lot for sure, and the only loss in there was to Marina Rodriguez as well so a common L for both of these women but kind of different stories in how those fights went down so what are your thoughts on Dern versus Zhao Nan are you surprised at all that she is a minus 225 favorite and getting all the love from Tapology that she's getting or is this the Dern true coming out party and maybe she's a new challenger yeah you know this this is a crazy matchup because two to one dog Yan and um I mean if you don't look at those last two losses, I mean, Jan is an absolute savage. And even looking at the Rodriguez fight, I mean, she looked good. If you compare that matchup to Dern versus Rodriguez, I mean, it's night and day on who is the better stand-up fighter. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it wasn't even competitive when it was Marina versus Dern, to be honest, which is sad. But, you know, Dern's come a long way. She's looking great. She's more confident on her stand-up. I think she's just going to be outclassed, though, on the feet. I'm really torn on this one because Dern is my girl. I don't like picking against her. But 2-1, to one dog, like, it's hard to throw that away. Um, And... Dern's not like that amazing, spectacular grappler like Carla Sparza, gonna heavy wrestle and take her down and pummel. No, she like pulls guard or like goes for a leg and like tries to get a little trip or gets gritty and she might get the takedown. I don't know if she's good enough to take Yon down. She's not really a wrestler. She's she's a jiu-jitsu practitioner. If it does hit the mat, Yon is going to get subbed. So you're either riding sub Dern if you think it hits the mat or you're writing decision or KO with Yon. That's how I kind of see it. Um, but I think I'm going to take Yon via KO second round. Because I think Dern is trying to prove a point to the UFC, wants to get more marketable. And I feel like people realize standing up and banging is the best way to get the money. Um, and it does seem like Dern's been falling more in love on her feet than just going straight to the ground trying to like do some ryan hall like squiggle down and trip and a narby roll and all that stuff so I, I i just like that Jan's a dog it wouldn't surprise me if dern gets it done though it would surprise me if she gets it done on the feet decision though that would be crazy um that, that, that would show that she's really leveled up i just haven't seen it so i'm gonna take Jan decision or ko yeah, very nice. And at plus 190, you know, a near two to one dog for Yan Zhao Nan, it is pretty good value, right? Because uh, we are pretty aware of how good Yan Zhao Nan is. And that's obviously no disrespect to Mackenzie Dern, but Yan at, uh, at plus 200 uh, just screams juicy value for sure. And, you know, you touched a lot on Mackenzie Dern's overall game and how she might elect to try and prove a point on the feet. And honestly, that wouldn't be the craziest thing to me because we do have to give Dern some credit in the sense that her stand-up game has definitely evolved over the last few years. I mean, in the very beginning of her career, it was like hard to watch stand-up, whereas now, like, she is dropping some of these women. She, you know, is uh, packing a much nicer punch than she did in the beginning of her career, but it does seem as though if she tries to go that route, it's kind of dangerous, right? Because Yan Jadon is definitely one of the better strikers in this division, and if she were able to just 
I don't know, just throw off her rhythm with some gnarly combinations and maybe even get that finish like you touched on. That wouldn't be the craziest thing in my book as well. So you also mentioned uh, Duren's grappling and, you know, we know her as this BJJ ace, but our, her takedown, her offensive takedown efficiency doesn't seem to be the best. So is the story of Mike just going to be, can Jan keep this thing standing four or five rounds? And uh, if Duren does just get one or two takedowns, is that going to be all she wrote? I think if Dern can take her down with two to, th I would say with two to three minutes to spare, I think she should be able to get it done with her grappling pedigree. She should be able to submit her with under two to three minutes of time, um, or at least ground and pound KO maybe. But I think a sub is more likely. Um, but the question is, is like, do you think that she can take her down? Mm -hmm. I don't know. That that's very tough. I mean. I mean, there's a reason why Dern hasn't been getting, you know, a crazy amount of subs lately, right? It's she's not the best wrestler. She doesn't have the best takedowns. Um, some people she's taken them down, but versus higher level people that just kind of know how to keep it standing up a little bit better, not the best. She's no Carlos Barza. That's how I I'll, I'll put it simple like that. She's no Carlos Barza. And that's where I'm kind of iffy on seeing the two to one dog. I like the odds. Maybe I'm being persuaded by greed. I don't know. Let us know, you know, in the comments. Am I way off on this one? And I'm just getting greedy with those odds. And Dern is a lock. Or did you guys see what we're seeing? And Jan's gonna knock out Dern. Yeah, I'm very curious to see how this one goes down for sure. And, you know, if we look at topology, 85% is rolling with Dern. Majority of it is copper. They think that the sub is most likely. So seems as though topology thinks that across the 25-minute contest, Dern will find at least an opportunity to get this thing to the mat. And if there, we'll be able to submit Jan, which if that ends up going down, that obviously that's not the craziest thing in the world, right? Because Mackenzie Dern is uh, someone who clearly gets better in basically every fight. And I'm just curious to see what her ceiling is and does it potentially run out against Jan Zhao now? So I'm with you in this one. I thought it should be closer to a pick -em, but at near plus 200 Jan value, I got a roll there for sure. But if this thing was, you know, more of a pick then then uh, I, don't, I don't know if I would still be going with Jan, but at a plus 200 spot, I think that there's great value. And I like your idea of, you know, checking out the TKO KO numbers, because if she's able to just land an accumulation of strikes, really bloody up uh, Mackenzie Dern, then you're going to be getting some juicy, juicy beef numbers for the KO TKO for sure. So I'm going to go Jan. I like her. I'm going to say finish. I like your idea. Any, any last thoughts? No, right there with you. You guys throw in the comments what do you guys got. What do you guys think? Did you agree with us? Disagree? Throw in the comments. Smash subscribe. Check out the other videos.